Hey everybody, uh, this is Jessica from the Digital Experience team. I just want to go over a uh, kind of side project Nile uh, and I have been working on. It is to help us kind of discover the user journeys that feed into our learning pages. And those would be the solutions page, features, topics, and blog. Um, and just a real quick how we got there. Last quarter, Stephen McGinnis put these great decision trees together, kind of figuring out how our customers actually get to those pages or which pages they're going to if they want to learn more about um, GitLab. So we use those um, as our starting point and Niall did a great job actually gathering data. So I'm just gonna pull that up real quick. And the idea is we have these four kind of pages that people tend to go to if they want to learn more about our product. The question is like, how did they get there in the first place? Um, and kind of taking out the obvious like they came from either the homepage or the pricing page, the more like where are the bigger flows coming from is kind of what the question we're asking ourselves because we've been spending a lot of time figuring out like how to uh, better the like top 15 pages that like have the most traffic. But the next question after that is how did they get to those pages? So we're trying to get, figure out more of like the flow of things. Um, so this is um, the data now pulled on each of these pages and he kind of highlighted here the top three, again, like including pricing and index um, pages that were driving to, in this case, solutions, and then broke that back down even more. So like from the Stages DevOps lifecycle page, where were they coming from before that? Um, he, he did that three times for each one. Um, and then I took that into, it's a, called a Fig Jam. It's another new tool from Figma um, and broke them out just for to be a little bit more clear and easy to read. Um, so again, here's like the solutions page and just backtrack to kind of see where people were coming from. So if they were coming for, to, uh, initially from install, before that they were coming from either free trial, the install CE or EE page or the getting started page. Um, and you can kind of see there's a bit of like overlap. Things are kind of interconnected a bit. So these kind of four pages are, are being heavily tied to each other. Um, and we did that for all of them. So features, you know, same thing. Oops. Topics, let's see where these are all coming from. And then the blog, which was the one that was a little bit more nuanced because a lot of people are coming from a specific blog post. So it was kind of like the one we happened to choose at the time. Um, but we can see like, even generally speaking, people are tend to come from this resources pages. Um, but, you know, and there's a lot of back and forth, like they come, they go to the blog post, they come back to the blog and vice versa. Um, and there are, in, oh, so I should just mention like the stars are the, the, like the number one feed. So like all of these were, were big um, influencers, but for a blog, like resources, like was the number one that drove it. Um, getting started or resources, it's probably resources. I can't quite remember now, but um, no, sorry, it's probably getting started. And then the top three things that drove to getting it started. Anyway, um, and if we go into the issue, I've done a little bit of a breakdown, pulled like the number one for each. Um, topics had two that were almost identical in numbers. So there's like two remain ways people are getting there. Um, and it's cool because now we can look, think about how people are getting to pages. So one I just pulled out was um, the demo page. Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, it's right here. So we just did an update to the demo or like we're in the middle of it right now. And hopefully that will give us, you know, great numbers or whatever we're looking for at the time. <clears throat> but if we wanted to take like the next iteration of the demo page, something we could actually look at is like the what is GitLab page or the DevOps tool page or free trial or features because they're all feeding into the demo page. So we kind of make those pages better, we can actually make the demo page better. We can drive more traffic to the demo page. Um, something else that popped out at me was this Stages DevOps lifecycle page is on every single one of these. Um, and usually somewhere quite um, important. So it's either like the number one or number two uh, page driving the, the traffic to the pages that we're looking at. So and that was across all four of them. So that's a really interesting one we probably should take a look at. And that's this page right here. If you go to product, get land, the DevOps platform. Um, this page seems to be a huge driver to all of our learning pages. So that's a really interesting insight. 
Um, and yeah, so uh, the idea again is just to see where people are coming from, how they're getting to the learning pages. Um, hopefully we can use that to influence you know, what we tackle next, uh, whether it's next quarter or in the future. Um, we'll just have a better understanding of, of how people are getting to where they need to be. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in this issue, number 153. Again, I did a bit more of a, a breakdown here in the readout. Um, and just an FYI, like not, you have to have Figma access to see the, the Fig Jam, but if you can't, then um, all the screenshots are, are right here in the issue as well. Uh, thanks.